Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this great looking coffee shop. This shop has a lot of different aspects to it, so why don't I show you what you'll actually be building? On the ground level, we have a lovely outdoor eating slash drinking area. If we move inside, we have a variety of different tables fit with a modern interior, and this is where you would buy your cookies, your cake, your coffee, all of that fun stuff. If we move upstairs, we have two exits onto each one of the individual terraces, so this one one on the front and we also have this one on the side. This is just a nice little place that you can sit and plot your world domination. And that is the coffee shop guys. I will show you how to make every single thing that you have just seen so don't worry there won't be two individual tutorials. It's just this one that will show you how to make absolutely everything. If you enjoy this sort of thing please remember to give this video a like and a share. Also comment down below what would you like to see next. Follow me on Twitter at TSMC360 and also so, subscribe if you want to see any more. But that is way more than enough talking. Why don't I show you how to actually make this thing? So, if you want to make it, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some block of quartz, some spruce planks, some quartz stairs, some quartz slabs, some spruce fence, some green wool, some white wool, some wooden trap doors, and some white stained glass pane. Plus, we'll need every single other material that you see in the inventory right there. Most of it is for the interior, but we do need it anyway. So, you might want to take note of what we have. You might want to pause the video. Grab everything once you've got it. And once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it right about here. Well, you're going to want to kick off your build with a row of four block of quartz coming directly up from the ground. That'll look like one, two, three, and four. We then want to take that fourth block of quartz and we want to extend it backwards by four with the spruce planks. That's one, two, three, four. Then place a block of quartz behind that plank, connect it down to the ground. Then take that first block of quartz, the one that you just connected to the ground, and go left of it with this sequence of blocks. Do one spruce plank, then do one white wall, one dark green, one white, one spruce plank, one block of quartz, and then connect that block of quartz down to the ground. Then going behind this block of quartz, we want to do, in this order, we want a spruce ball plank, then a white wall, a dark green wall, then a spruce wall plank, then a block of quartz. Connect that down to the ground, like that. Now, looking back at what we've just made there, we now want to go left of this top quartz block, and we want to go across by five with the spruce wood. That's one, two, three, four, five. Place a block of quartz, connect it down to the ground. Then take that top block of quartz and extend it Further left by five with the spruce wall planks. That's one, two, three, four, five. Place a block of quartz, connect it down to the ground. Take that block of quartz, extend it towards the front of the build, and do a row of four spruce wall planks. That's one, two, three, four. Place a block of quartz, connect it down to the ground. Like that. Going in front of that block of quartz, once again, the top one, you want to do one spruce wall plank, one dark green, one white wall, one spruce wall plank, one block of quartz, connect that down to the ground. What you now want to do is you want to, going left of that quartz block to connect back to where we very first started, we want to do one dark green, one white, one dark green, one white, one dark green. So we want to have this sort of pattern right here. You can connect the two end dark green walls down to the ground with your spruce wood planks. You can then place a row of block of quartz inside of the shape that you've just made, leaving a space of two right at the bottom center extend out the bottom two blocks of quartz left and right towards you, place a row of quartz slabs connecting in between them, then place a row of three spruce wood fence in front of the uh, in front of the <laughs> of the spruce wood planks that you placed, then destroy the top row of three quartz blocks that you have just behind there. Very quickly grab your white stained glass and place a row of three white stained glass behind what you've just made. We will now need our white carpet and our green carpet, plus we will... Actually, we won't need any more because they'll be supported by the uh, by the quartz slabs. And we want to, starting from the left-hand side, on top of this fence, we want to place a green carpet. Going right, a white carpet. Green carpet, white carpet, green carpet. So we want to have that nice little overhang. 
like that. That's wonderful. That's what we want. Well, once you've got that taken care of, we can actually throw away... What material don't we need for a little while, guys? Probably spruce fence for a little while. And we want to grab some white stained glass paint. And what we now want to do is we want to systematically moving around the base of this, we're going to fill in the wall. So this left-hand wall, just left of the entrance, we want to fill in with our spruce wood planks. So just completely fill that in with planks. Don't worry. This is going to get a lot more detailed and stuff later on. Um, take the very bottom of this particular moving left like this front left hand portion um, place a row of spruce wood planks going left and right right at the bottom you then want to place spruce wood planks connecting on the left and right like connecting the bottom spruce to the top spruce fill the center of this in with white stained glass pane like that place wooden trap doors left and right of the windows these will act as shutters we will also need another material now. What we're going to need is string, and I'm tr I'm hard to I'm hard pressed to find a material that we don't need for a little while. But green wool and white wool can probably go away for a little bit, and you're going to need some string. Place string in front of the top row of free glass like that, and you're going to want to in front of the on top of the left hand string in front of the white wool. Place a white carpet. Right of that, a green carpet, then a white carpet. Do you guys see what we're doing here? We're just giving these a little bit of an overhang. Underneath the window, we want to, coming in from either end of the window, we want an upside down stair with a quartz slab in between. There we go. That's what we want to have for that front of the coffee shop. You can see how this is shaping up quite nicely, right? Well, what we now want to do is want, we want to move on to the left-hand side of the shop. Underneath the colored walls, we want to place two rows of white stained glass pane because that's the window. Fill in the rest of this area with spruce planks. Place wooden trap doors forming shutters left and right of the window. Place string in front of the glass at the top of the window. And then place corresponding carpet on top of the string to form the little overhang. Place upside down quartz stairs underneath the window. And there you will have a nice little window. On the very back of the build, at the bottom, there is no window. So you can completely fill the bottom of this build at the bottom. You just want to completely fill this in with spruce wood planks. On this side of the build, however, the back side, on the right hand side of the build, this back portion is completely spruce wood planks. However, there is a window here where we have the colored walls, as you might guess. So we're going to want to do the same thing. We want to place two rows of glass underneath. Then we want to place spruce wood planks all the way around the inside of this. Then we want to place wooden trap doors in front of the blocks left and right of the window. String in front of the glass. And then we want to place white carpet, green carpet, and come on. There we go. And then we want to place upside down quartz stairs here directly underneath the window so there you go that is the base of the coffee shop for the most part what we're now going to do is the upper half of the shop so for the upper half of the shop we're going to want to grab ourselves the block of quartz again and we're going to want to can you see where we have these four center blocks of quartz here we can connect them together if it makes it easier for you so these we want to take the four center blocks of quartz and we want to extend them upwards each by four with the block of quartz. That's one, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. Like that. What we now want to do is on the front where the entrance is, we want to take this top left hand block of quartz and we want to go right of this with your white wool and your green and we want to go right by uh one of the white one of the green one of the white then go right by two of the spruce wood planks we now want to place opposite where the colored walls are on the ground we want to place a row of three spruce wood like that then connect the left hand and right hand spruce wood upwards place glass pane in between the empty space, and then place wooden trap doors left and right of the window. There we go. Place string in front of the top window, and if you like, what we can do right now is then add the colored carpet um, in front of each one of the corresponding uh, walls, so white, green, and white, like that. Also, if you like, you can also add like a little quartz slab underneath the window, just to give it a bit of character. Okay, 
So what we now want to do is we want to take out our glass block and we're just going to do another door and this door is just going to be right in the window starting from the bottom we're going to have a row of one two glass then we're going to place a spruce wood plank on top then right we're then going to put two quartz slabs above the glass and the entrance and we're going to connect in front of the glass we're not using that block we're going to use a spruce wood fence to connect it down just to kind of give us a much more interesting um outward entrance like that what we now want to do, whilst we have it, is use white stained glass block and we want to go all the way on top and around our coffee shop. So, around the two terraces mainly, we want to add our glass block, just kind of going around the terraces like this if you guys can see what I'm talking about. We then, with our quartz slabs, we want to do quartz slabs that go all the way around the glass that we've just placed like this and it just wants to stop but we'll add more later and it just wants to stop where you have the quartz blocks so like where you have the four quartz pillars it just doesn't want to come around the back just yet because it is going to correspond with some windows that we're going to have back here so why don't we actually do those so on the back two corners of the build like the back right hand corner these two sides we're going to want to fill these in so uh, this very right hand window here, we're going to want to start off with a row of spruce wood right at the bottom here on the second floor, row of spruce wood. We then want to do a row of spruce wood planks going up, left, then connecting down. We want to place some white stained glass pane in the center here. We want to place wooden trap doors left and right of the window like this. Then, you know what, I didn't, I didn't have this in the original, but why don't we add just a little bit of colour to the window? So why don't we add some like dark green wool and some white wool? And why don't we have like a little overhang? So we'll need the wool out or the string, and we'll need like the white carpet and the green carpet for this. So, there we go, that's not too bad. And then we will also place the upside down quartz stairs underneath the window like this and then if you like you can like connect that quartz slab to it and it kind of looks like a mustache or at least it does when it's all put together but yeah that's kind of what we're vibing for here and if we come to the very back we want a very similar story we want like a row of spruce wood planks at the bottom have it rolling up the side connects to the top then connects down but uh, then we want to, of course, fill in the center of this window with white stained uh, glass pane. Then I'm going to place the wooden trap doors. And I think that I'm going to add the green wool and white wool carpet at the top of the window. Despite the fact that I didn't really plan for it, I don't think. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure I have this on the original. But um, I think that it would look quite nice. So I'm just going to destroy these. And then in an order, maybe like uh, green, white, green. And then I'm just going to place the green carpet um, in front there, white, green, there we are, and do I want to, yeah, okay, and also, I'm going to add the upside down quartz stairs underneath each end of the window, with a quartz slab in between, and then I'll connect all of the quartz together, kind of like, in this fashion, like that, okay, well, now that that's done, it just leaves one side open, so this is this side, and we want to start off by connecting the top of this together with spruce wood planks, the top to block of quartz and we then want to connect the left hand side down with spruce wood planks then we want to go right by two with the spruce wood planks at the bottom then connect it upwards then go right by one giving us this sort of shape so that there you can see this is going to be the entrance out this is going to be the window we need to fill the window in with our white stained glass pane and we're also going to add shutters left of the window, but not the right of the window. Or should we? Actually, we'll add shutters right of the window. We're going we're gonna, to uh, improvise this a little bit. Um, I'm going to destroy up top here, and I'm going to place um, green wool just above the window. And then we're going to have our patented string, and then our green carpet just above. And um, just above the door, we'll have something like, we'll just have like a, a quartz slab just above that. So we're accentuating the window a little bit more than the door. Um... It doesn't have to be this way if you don't want to. You can kind of like alternate it. You can make the door like one row. You can make the door like one row um, bigger if you like. But I kind of like this. 
Um, okay, so what we're now going to do is we're going to fill these two terrace roofs in with block of quartz. I think the block of quartz is a good material for this. Um, spruce wood, spruce wood slabs would also look quite good, but uh, block of quartz because why not? Um, later on, we will also add some uh, some chairs and some stuff like that. But for now, we're just going to leave this as it is, like that. There we go. We filled in both of the terraces. Let's talk about the actual roof here, like the big roof here. Um, this big roof is made out of mainly block of quartz, so we'll need some quartz stairs, we'll also need some quartz slabs, we also need our old pal the white stained glass pane, plus we need the spruce wood stairs. Okay, this is what we're going to do. So, we're going to form quartz slab blocks on like the left hand side of this roof on the left and on the right and these are going to be upward and diagonally inwards in relation to the top blocks of quartz that we have for the pillars and then we're going to have a row of two block of quartz just hovering above in the center here and then we're going to have white stained glass pane hidden in between then if we come to the opposite side we're going to have a block of quartz coming inwards diagonally with white stained glass pane in between and then quartz slabs on top of the white stained glass pane then we're going to fill in the first two rows of the roof with uh, spruce wood stairs so on top of the like on the front and the back of the coffee shop we want to have two rows of spruce wood stairs kind of like that just aside the quartz blocks that we've just formed on the left and right of the shop we then want to extend those blocks outwards across in front of uh, on the left and right we want to extend that roof outwards by one with the quartz stairs like this and what we also want to do is we want to place upside down quartz stairs underneath and to the side, I suppose, of those overhanging quartz stairs. Then what we have to do is we have to form the top of the roof, which is going to be a row of quartz stairs on one side with an opposite row of quartz stairs on the opposite side next to it, so like opposing each other. Then all we want to do is a row of quartz slabs on this side, in front of the uh, in front of the spruce wood stairs and this side and this will form the actual main part of the roof that looks very very nice makes it uh, look all nice and fancy and it's all very well shaped and there you go that is most of the shop complete actually so once you've got that taken care of the next order of business for us is going to be to complete the entire outside and then we'll move inwards so we're going to need for this next bit we'll need block of quartz plus some stone slabs Plus, we'll also need stuff for chairs, so like oak wood stairs, maybe even some wooden trap doors. We'll also need block of redstone, some pistons, and like white walls, something like that. Plus, you might find that you want some poppies or, you know, something. And uh, maybe some bit, uh, a bit of spruce fence as well. Okay, so can you see where I've positioned this block of quartz in the corner here? This is purposeful because I want to connect the front left-hand corner of the coffee shop and the front well the other front left hand corner of the coffee shop together i kind of want to i kind of want to form like a solid shape like with this l i want to form the entrance i want to connect the entrance left to the very left hand side of the coffee shop with this sort of shape i then want to fill the floor in here with stone slams because the outside here is going to be stone slabs for the flooring. It might also be, you know what, I think I'm also going to have that for the floor inside as well. Um, but you can kind of like change it, it's something that's not quite important. Um, then going to do a row of spruce wood fence around the block of quartz, leaving a gap of one on the right hand side here. And then I'm just going to put a table out here, right in the center. It's going to be made up of a block of redstone with a piston and a white carpet. I'm then going to place an oak wood stair opposing the table, leaving a gap of one either side. And then I think I'm just going to form the chairs using wooden trap doors, um, which I'm also going to do upstairs as well. I'm going to keep like the tables and the chairs um, the same all the way throughout the build. And that's just a nice little thing that you can have. Um, you might also find that you want a row of poppies or... Um, any flower, really, kind of bordering the coffee shop. I don't know why. I like using flowers a lot. Poppies are my favourite. Red's my favourite colour. That's probably why. But I think that they really add something to a build, especially when it doesn't have that much colour into it. 
Also, you might feel as though that you want to form a path going around the build, and something that we should do whilst we uh, take care of this path is destroy the entire ground floor of the coffee shop, and I'm also going to dig a path around my shop, and I'm going to fill it all in with stone slabs. This is kind of like, this is kind of like a personal thing, dependent upon where you're putting it in your own particular world. Mine looks this way for a reason, to fit the shape of where I'm putting my shop, so... You guys just do your own thing when it comes to like filling in the floor with what material you want and like doing a path around it if you want to. Um, mine's a bit, mine's like I said, it's a bit specialized if you want to use that word. It's, it's not like difficult or anything, it's just it fits a particular shape that I'm looking for for this particular part of my city. So this next bit, I mean, it's up to you whether you want to do it. Um, but, like I said, mine's, mine's for this particular world. I'm going to dig a path of two going all the way around the shop now. This is going to take a bit of time. I'm also going to fill it in with stone slabs. I'll speed this up for you. Okay, so as you can see, I have now completed the outside of the coffee shop. I'm sure that you can see the process that I went through to do that. You might want to do a similar process. You might want to add a bit more of a path at the back of yours. It really does depend exactly where you're placing it. Um, in a late, at a later date, I might add some more tables and chairs and stuff back here because there is quite a lot of empty space in relation to Wendy's. But... That is the outside done. Let's talk about the inside of the shop here. So if we come to the inside of the shop, we've got a little bit to do. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where the stairs are. So the stairs are going to be, if we if we take out our quartz slabs and we actually like add a proper ceiling to this, and um, so we can actually like see what we're working with. So if we just fill in the second floor completely, so now we can see, we can see all the framework, which is actually pretty cool, I quite like this. Well, the staircase is going to start somewhere around here. So we have to leave enough room that we can actually walk up and down. We want the top, and I'm using Oakwood stairs for this. You can use a different one if you like. The top Oakwood stairs wants to take you directly onto the second floor. And then all we have to do is we just have to steeple the, um, the stairs downwards. And we just need to make sure that we have a big enough hole that we can actually move through. Which is actually a row of three. And we just have to have it right in the corner. It's as easy as that. I'm going to place some block of quartz on the side of the stairs like this with a quartz slab right at the top. I'm also going to have something a little bit fancy. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of white stained glass paint um, on the bottom of the staircase and I'm going to have some on the top as well, like that. Looks pretty good. It is going to make getting this uh, getting this table in here difficult though, which we'll, we'll do it now because why not? Where's, where's my... Uh, where are you? I need some I need some block of redstone. So I'm going to have a table right behind this staircase. So I'm going to dig into the ground. I'm going to place block of redstone, piston on top of it. I'm going to use um, the oak wood stairs next to it. And then once again, just to just uh just because I'm going to place wooden trapdoor on it, and I'm going to place white carpet. Um, let me light up this place a little bit. So this place doesn't actually have too much light. Um, all of the light, or the majority of it, comes from a redstone lamp with a lever on it. And this lamp is knocked into the actual wall here in this corner. Place the lamp in there, lever in there, boom. The coffee shop is actually now quite light. You can add more light if you want. I just, I like this. I don't think that we need to add any more. Okay, so let us talk now about where the rest of the seats and stuff are going to go. So I want a table right about here like next to this window because i want the chairs to be um set out in a particular way so i'm going to have in the ground i'm going to have this table here and then i'm going to need my oakwood stairs again aren't i so i'm going to have an oakwood stairs here and here always maintaining a distance of one from the table it's it's just a little rule i like i don't always follow it um on the opposite side we'll have the same thing so we'll also have a table here remember block of redstone piston on top white carpet going to have um, oakwood stairs either side of this kind of um, kind of next to the light as well going to have the wooden trap door here looks pretty good if you ask me we have a load of tables now also if you like i do notice it's quite dark in that corner isn't it so if we were to take out a torch or something like that and we just place a torch like maybe here lightens it up a little bit more 
Uh, okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take care of the counter space and all of that fun stuff. So for the counter space, I'm going to use some block of quartz. I need some quartz stairs. I also need some wooden trap doors, maybe like a stone brick stairs, a furnace, um, like a flower pot, poppy, brewing stand, that, that sort of stuff. Um, so on this back wall, I'm going to place, uh, I need andensite as well, I'm going to place a row of polished andensite on this back wall on the left. I'm going to leave a gap of one, and then starting from the wall here, I'm going to do a row of two block of quartz with an upside down quartz stairs with a wooden trap door. So this is kind of like the counter, that is like where all of the stuff's going to be. I'm going to place a furnace here, and a brewing stand here, mainly because they're not in front of the windows. I'm going to place flower pots on top of the two available and in sites, reason being is so that they don't cover up the windows too much. I'm going to place a stone brick stair here in this corner, um, on top of the counter, and that is going to fashion as a till, a register. And now, I mean, all we have to do is, like, do you want to have, like, a flower here on this counter? It'd look nice. Um, would you like to add some stuff like buttons in front of the Andon site? Um, you can kind of do that, why not? Um, if you want to add some item frames with some food in them, maybe, like, cake and, uh, cake and some cookies, why don't you add those above, like, the brewing stand and above the furnace, just to kind of make it a little bit more homely? Um, this is the downstairs. This is like, this is what the downstairs looks like. It's quite nice looking, really. Okay, now that we've got that taken care of, why don't we move upstairs? So upstairs here, it's quite simple. First of all, I'm going to start off um, by adding a little bit of a white glass banister next to these stairs. Um, I'm going to have it come all the way back to the wall. Um, I'm also going to have uh, a cauldron and, where are we? A cauldron and some jungle leaves in this corner just as a bit of decoration. If you like, you can also add some lighting here. But first, we're just going to focus on the terraces here. Um, the terraces are very simple. Um, all you need is like an oak wood stair, spruce wood slab, and like, um, and like wooden trap doors or something like that to make some seats and a table. So we can place like a seat here, table here, wooden trap doors either side of the, uh, of the seat, and that's like what the terraces are made up of. So we can also have another one here. Um, can we place like a chair here perhaps and like a, a spruce wood slab? You can have it face in any direction. It really doesn't matter where. And um, yeah, that, that looks quite nice. You could even have another one here if you wanted to, although you might have to push this back. Um, yeah, the, there we go. They're, they're the outside terraces. Um, if you want, you can also light up um, the inside of here a little bit. So if you, if you just want to add some nice modern looking lighting. Um, spruce wood fence suspended from the ceiling. Maybe like in this fashion, and some sea lanterns, kind of just as light. That uh, that looks all right to me. Um, you might even want to shorten that a little bit, and you might still want to keep the spruce wood fence. That looks quite good, if you ask me. If you want, you can cover it up with like um, spruce wood or some like um, quartz slabs. You could uh, very easily cover it up. I'd do it from here. If you want to cover it up, you don't have to. Um, this will form some kind of like uh, cool. Uh, some kind of like cool depth lighting if we do this. Um, it's, it's not really necessary though, like, I kind of like the idea of having, oh, oh I kind of like that. That looks kind of cool. I kind of like that. That looks, that looks interesting. I take that back. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so up here, I mean, then if you want to, I mean, you don't have to add this sort of stuff. It, this is, these are just like little, little silly details that you can add. You can add some like red carpet up here. You could even add a little bit uh, down, downstairs here too, if you wanted to. You could kind of have like a, a lead all the way, all the way through to kind of like take you to where you'd buy your coffee. Uh, if you find that you want more lighting, um, add a couple of torches here and about the place, or maybe even some lights to the ceiling. Um, in strategic places, but I don't think uh, I don't think it needs any more added to it and that ladies and gentlemen is the coffee shop It's a pretty nice looking coffee shop. It's kind of like a, a modern slash older style coffee shop It's I don't know. It's kind of like uh, it kind of shares a couple of different styles Like it's got some modern components and then it kind of takes a step back in time So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video anyway. I hope you like this tutorial. Please if you did enjoy it 
Give the video a like, give it a share. Comment down below, what else would you like to see next? Very interested to see what you guys might want to see on in the future. Let me know. Like I said, I'd be very, very interested to see what you guys want to see. If you make this, show me a picture of it. Follow me on Twitter, anti-SMC360. Or just show me stuff that you've been building recently. I honestly love those images. I love those images images on Twitter that you send me of your words. I love seeing them. I really genuinely do. Uh, also, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it because you can join in with this madness. So not only do we make coffee shops, we make Wendy's. That's a fast food restaurant in America. We make pet shops. There's loads of animals in there if they haven't all died. That's a chip shop. We make churches. We make graveyards. We make train stations, Domino's Pizza, some townhouses. We have a barbershop. We have, uh, that's actually a tea room. Smaller version. Uh, we also have like a supermarket and we have an entire park. And if for no reason that any of these are your thing, then we do some other stuff as well. This is my survival village that I am very slowly working on. A lot of these builds are really old, but I am currently updating it with some more modern builds. And if you guys want to be here to check out the ride, subscribe. And also, if you want to build anything that you have seen on the screen, literally anything that you've seen, I will link all of the appropriate playlists, which will take you to each one of the individual tutorials that will show you how to make absolutely everything that you have seen on your screen so far. So whether you're working on like a, a survival town that has loads of different aspects to it, or whether you're working on a park or a train station or something a bit more modern. We even do fantasy builds. I'm actually working on um, Planet Express from Futurama at the moment. We do everything around here is kind of my point. So... Check out that, all of that out in the card system in the description below. Like I said, subscribe if you haven't already. Like and share if you wouldn't mind. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys in the next video.